So today, we're gonna be checking out this Snaptain SP550 foldable drone with GPS, 2K HD camera, 90 degrees adjustable camera, GPS mode, waypoints, point of interest, follow me, gestures for photo and video, one key takeoff landing, return to home, Addy mode, headless mode, and it's foldable. Let's get into this. What's going on guys? Drones and Dogs here. Welcome back to the channel. Alright guys, y'all know what it is and y'all know how we do. We back for another smooth unboxing. It's your first time checking out the channel. Make sure you subscribe. Click that notification bell because I guarantee you, you don't want to miss no more videos. I'm your boy Drones and Dogs. I hit you with the most banging unboxings, the most banging reviews, flight videos, RC car, jumping, all that good stuff. So if you like that kind of stuff, this is you in the right place. You want to subscribe and you want to keep checking out the channel. Without further ado, we are here with a budget friendly um, drone. This is a GPS drone, has a 2K camera. It's foldable, uh, GPS return to home, guys, points of interest, waypoints, all that good stuff. And it comes in at affordable price that might be just right for you. So let's check out what's in this box. Let's see what we get. And uh, hopefully, if we get enough daylight here, we can go for a quick fly with this guy. But this is just going to be the unboxing. So like I said, subscribe, click the notification bell, and you're going to definitely want to see the flight review of this bad boy because it will be coming soon. All right, so let's check out what's in this box, guys. It's the Snaptain SP550. There's not really much on the box here. It's a picture of it up front and its features. They got a little slidable sleeve here. This is by Snaptain. Rated age is 14 plus, all right? So, the case is very nice, though. I do like that. It's got like a magnetic type case, man. When you um, open this, you did. Look at that, there it is, right there. Open this, got like a magnetic case there. Nice foam there on the top. Everything is packaged nice and well. Look at that. Packaged nice. This is a nice box. So I will be keeping this box. So, because it's definitely going to be, it's got a handle. It's definitely going to be nice for uh, traveling and storage and keeping the drone safe and you're not flying your drone, you guys. So, everything is uh, packaged really well. I, I'm guessing this is going to be our battery here on top. Just pop this battery out because I do want to get it on the charger and see what we got. So, it looks like it's a smart battery because it's got a power button with some LED lights here. So you hold that on. See, like we got two bars of battery here. So, long press it and it turns it back off. And it is a 1900 milliamp hour battery. It's a 7.6 volt. All right, it's a 7.6 volt. All right, so it's a 2S. It's a high voltage 2S. High voltage 2S and that's a uh, proprietary, okay? So it's just gonna slide in the back of the drone, you guys. That's pretty cool. This little battery here, I'm gonna definitely, and it's gonna be charged by a uh, micro USB port. So I get that bad boy on the charger here really quickly. It's really hot out here too, guys. It's hot, I got my uh, studio door open. So the heat is really detrimental. So we, we got some extra propeller blades here. We got a Phillips screwdriver in there. Yeah, we got a little Phillips screwdriver and some extra propeller blades. I'm not gonna open that because I don't want to get these props all over there, but it, extra props and Phillips screwdriver there, you guys. That's it for that box. So it looks like we got our charger. And if you guys would, so we got two chargers. So I'm guessing this remote is actually rechargeable as well. So you get two USB to micro USB chargers, one for the remote, one for the battery, you guys. That is awesome. That is pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. So look at that. And it's gonna go into the battery like so. You have your lights 
and when you get all four bars lit up, that means you got a fully charged battery. If you guys don't mind, I'm gonna actually put this guy on the charger. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Had to throw that battery on the charger. Don't worry if you guys don't mind. My battery is charging while I'm finishing out this unboxing. So we got a 1900 milliamp hour battery, 7.6 volt. That's 2S. Pretty good. Two chargers. So that's it right there. So we might as well get the remote out since we now know it's rechargeable. Look, it's protected by these little phone little doohickeys there. Phew. Um, snap tain on the remote, on and off switch. Everything is labeled. Some nice, uh, what people would call gimbals or joysticks. Of course, it's altitude hold, being that this is a GPS quad, you guys. Um, some LED indicators right there, letting us know some of our functions, uh, which ones are working at the time. On and off switch. Uh, see, automatic takeoff and landing, headless mode. I'm not too sure about these antennas. Uh, actually, I think this one has a wire going through it, yeah. far as I can see, this one is a real antenna right here. It's like it has a wire going through it because I can see a wire going up. So this one is an actual real antenna. I'm not too sure if this one is, but that's pretty cool. So actual real antenna. Handles for the joysticks. So I can get that bad boy out. Look at that. Handles for the joysticks. Pretty nice. Um, this pops up for your FPV foam mount, you guys. And then your charge port for the battery is right there. Little micro USB. And it gave you two chargers. That's nice. So this looks pretty decent. I'm gonna leave that laid out right there. And uh, what you guys all came to see is this SP550. Last but not least, I like this case. I'm gonna definitely be keeping this case. Drawing this package really well, and it's got a little. Oh, okay. And then in the bottom, instruction manual, and I will be going over that detailed instruction manual. I'm pretty sure it's really detailed. Definitely check out the instruction manual, especially if it's your first drone, you guys. So that's all the contents of the box. I move that box to the side, checking out the drone. It is foldable. Oh, and I also forgot to mention that this uh, camera is uh, motorized. It's on an actual motorized servo or servo. Some people will say a gimbal, but it's not actually a gimbal because it's not stabilized. So I said I like to say a motorized servo. The drone is actually a decent size too. Um, but yeah, it has tilt adjustable. So you can adjust this guy from zero degrees to 90 degrees to face it all the way down, you guys. That's pretty nice. An adjustable wheel here. So I did not mention that. That's pretty dope. And looking at the camera, the camera lens is a 2K camera. Okay, like I said, it is adjustable from the remote. Um, so let's see. Looks like you have to take out the uh, bottom legs first. So the rear to the... The rear to the front first, okay? Then the front to the rear next. So rear to the front first, and then front to the rear first, and then that unfolds it to a nice size looking drone. Has a snap chain logo up there. We're gonna peel off this plastic there, you guys. Look at that, look at that bad boy. Look at him, look at him, check him out. Actually unfolds to a nice size drone. I like the body and design to it, um, yeah. So let's see, nice foldable props. These are brush gear motors, you guys. These are not brushless. To, so they, the, what they do is brushed motors are cheaper than brushless motors. So, I mean, with brushless motors, you're going to get a longer lifetime out of your motors and you're going to get more power and quieter and uh, it's just a slightly better performance. But brush, brush motors are not bad, especially if you're getting into the game, guys. I mean, if you get brush motors and you just is your first drone, you don't really want nothing that's too powerful as your first drone so this should be flying pretty decent and then you, you should get a couple some people get a couple hundred flights out of brush gear drones as long as you treat them and uh, maintain them correctly and so I mean it, it, it's, it's give or take guys I mean the price point you got to figure out what you're paying this guy was underneath the hundred dollars I will drop a link in the description below so make sure you check out that link if you guys are interested in picking up your first drone or maybe just another drone like me you guys be just gotta get a new drone gotta get a new drone and I just, I'll be feeling like that sometimes, so I just gotta grab some up, especially when it's at a nice price point. But I like the layout of this bad boy. It's got that staggered leg design. That's why it folds out like so. Um, I'm trying to see, does it have an optical flow sensor? It does not. So, I mean, I'm not, I don't care about that anyways. But what I do care about is that it does have a micro SD card slot on the side. And I think it supports up to like 125 gigabyte SD card. So, I mean, that's pretty good, you know. 
and this is a 2K camera, you guys. So nice, decent sized battery bay. They only gave us the one battery. I would like to have seen two, but I mean, I'm pretty sure you could pick up extra batteries on Amazon, but you know, for the price point, cheap as it is, you get a rechargeable remote, you get a nice drone that folds out and it's pretty premium style drone, man, for the price point. With inflation and everything going up, I can't believe this thing was the price it was. So make sure you click that link below. I'm going to get these batteries charged up, and we're going to go for the fly for this guy. So I'll see you guys in the next review, in the next episode. I'm your boy, Drone the Dogs. This is the Snaptain SP550. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. I am out. Deuces.